and I am live. Hi, um, hang on. I forgot to turn off the fan. <laughs> okay, hello and welcome to the Crafting Tuesday Night live stream. Oh, where's my phone? I have to get into the chat and see who's here. This is the Crafting live stream. If you're looking for tech chat, that's happening next Tuesday. <clears throat> and I am Michelle from Unicorn and Centaur. So hang on, let me get there. I'm probably gonna sweat my tooties off tonight. I'm gonna get really shiny. It got hot again today because it's November in Savannah, of course. And tonight I am going to make a crown as befitting me. So let me see who is here so far. Random channel that's dead oh, by Marvel. Marvel, is that you? <laughs> if it is, hey, how are you? Um, let me put my thing. And Taylor's here. Hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Okay. I am going to be making, here's what we're doing uh, for people who are joining or if you're watching on the playback. Um, I went, I have a Bachelor of Fine Arts in theater at, with an emphasis in costuming and I've made puppets and done costumes for all of my adult life and made lots of amazing things. But one thing I've never done is make armor out of craft foam. It's like you see all these really elaborate cosplays like a Dragon Con, things that people do and it just looks amazing. And when I learned it's like foam and glue and paint, I'm like, I want to do that. <laughs> I want to make stuff for the horses. Like I want to make a, a, a an armor piece for the horse's head that goes over the bridle and, um, you know, greaves for the front of the horse's hooves. I don't think that's what they're called when you put them on the front of the horse's uh, leg, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. All right. Yes. <clears throat> oh, it's finals week. Oh, thank you for joining me on finals week, Taylor. Um, SCAD is having finals week. Here's what I'm doing tonight. I know on the blog, if you um, follow the unicornandcentaur.com blog, I showed this. That's not what I'm making tonight. Don't get excited. <laughs> I decided to go smaller than that. This is the one tonight. It's, let me see if I can get that up there. It's the crown here. It's a very simple two pieces. Here's the thing with my creativity, I'm weirdly left brained about things, very paint by the numbers, very do stuff. And there's uh, very, um, you know, go by instructions, step by step instructions to get something done. There are times when I like to go off the rails and make something, but when I'm first learning how to do something, I really appreciate having a pattern. Just like with cooking, I will make something exactly by the recipe the first time, and I will actually make it exactly by the recipe a bunch of times. Um, but and then once I get the feel for it, then I kind of know where I can substitute and with what and it's the same thing when I make stuff So I thought I want to start small and I'm gonna make uh, the crown piece from this This is a pretty cool costume actually, which I may eventually make the entire thing and there's an armor piece Hang on, let me put this one down There's an armor piece here. Of course, it's asymmetrical only one armor piece on the shoulder And there's another one on the gauntlet here and then one um, up here and one on the hip armor Of course if I did this I would not make the skirt I would have the overskirt and then that would be breeches and boots underneath because riding ponies Teehee so but I'm gonna start with the crown So then if it stinks then I only spent like what a dollar fifty on craft foam and paint uh, so it's not that big a deal. I don't want to have to buy $50 worth of costuming equipment just to find out I suck at this. So that's where we're doing. We're starting small. So if you're here for some grand thing, I don't know, maybe it's not going on. Zadel's here. Yes. Yes. All right. Who else is here? We've got some people in the chat tonight. If you're new to the chat, welcome. I do a crafting live stream. Hang out with me and chat. And today we are doing, here's all my supplies I have today. So to make this lovely thing, I have some cardboard. You're supposed to make like a cardboard template to um, lay down on the foam, cutting tools, wire to go behind it. Um, here are the pattern pieces I have to cut out. So tonight I'm going to be cutting out these pattern pieces and then making, gluing them to um, cardboard and cutting out a cardboard. Or maybe not gluing them, I'll just trace them. Is that what I'll do? <laughs> so there we go. That's my pattern piece. So there's these instructions here and here. And y'all, I love instructions. Instructions make me geek out. I will sit... And I will read the instructions and then I'll read them again and read them again until I really understand them. So there's these instructions that are for preparing the pieces. And then these instructions are for putting them together. 
So that's what we are dealing with. Mod Podge, apparently this is the stuff that we put on the, that we paint on the pieces to um, stiffen them up and make them not, you know, squishy and porous like foam. So I have my cutting tool, ha ha! Razor blade, excuse me, unicorn. I got some felt because this crown is wired behind it and the pattern doesn't call for felt, but I'm thinking I'm gonna want a little bit of a felt backing so that there's not like wire on my forehead. I don't know. Um, so I got that just in case. And then this is just craft foam, like that you can get at Walmart or Joanne Fabric. It's two millimeter craft foam. And we're gonna make some things out of this. <clears throat> now I don't think, did I even get it on my paint? Oh my gosh. Mod Podge. You know what? I have not really worked with Mod Podge before. Um, is it like glue? I wonder how it compares to the sculptor coat that I use on the unicorn horns. Because I'm not finished coating the unicorn horns yet, but they're, you see, they're still really flexible, but they're not, remember how they were really floppy? They're not floppy anymore. They're, they've got a shell to them. <laughs> they have a shell to them, but I, they still need some more coats because they're too, still too squishy. Boop. <laughs> oh, last week's lesson you had to ride in a skirt. It was. It is weird riding in a skirt. I remember every time I ride in a skirt, I'm like, oh, I'm not doing this again. That is crazy. So, and I couldn't find my pliers, so I have my multi-tool. This is my Leatherman multi-tool that I use for everything when I forget things. And my diet, Dr. Pepper. All right, so I need to cut this thing out first. Hang on, I need some scissors. And a pattern. Any of you guys ever tailor or um, anybody ever made anything that out of craft foam that's like supposed to be metal? Have you guys done this before? I plan to kind of take over the world after I do this. Like once I figure out the crown part, I'm making shoulder pieces. I'm making gauntlets. I'm going to make things for my legs. Y'all even know I'm going to wear it everywhere too. I'm going to wear it to the grocery store. I'm going to wear it to the gas station. I'm gonna ride horses in it. Just randomly riding down the trails, I'm gonna be just dressed head to toe in fake armor. Like I'm Xena, warrior princess. Do people know who Xena is anymore? Do y'all, do people still know Xena? I know nostalgia is a thing. I never really watched that show. I watched some shows, uh, some of the shows, but I never really got into the series, surprisingly. I never really got into this series, which is weird. That's the kind of show that you would think like, hey, Michelle, that's totally your thing. So yeah, gluey coat with limited, limitless uses. Yeah, the Mod Podge, I have to, I haven't even looked at like what it's made of. But there's like instructions on the side of the bottle or the whatever it is that are like for putting, for painting on puzzles. Is it something that like, that people put on when they're done with jigsaw puzzles, <laughs> they paint the Mod Podge on the, the jigsaw puzzle. Is that a thing people do? Y'all, I don't understand people. I don't understand people. Let's see who's talking to me. <clears throat> I am already sweating. Do y'all see my sweat mustache? Okay, where did I put my, I thought I had a, uh, well darn it. I thought I had it, there it is. My little sweat rag. <clears throat> so made a fake shovel when I was like four, but it was just a piece of foam shaped like a shovel. Did you paint it or anything like that? Or just sort of have a foam shovel? I may be in love with the Mod Podge after tonight. Honestly, I have not used it before. Excuse me, I'm already burping up the Diet Dr. Pepper. So this is fun, isn't it? So what's everybody doing tonight? Taylor has um, midterms. We've got Thanksgiving is coming up. There's going to be, ooh, Taekwondo testing is like in two weeks. Liam is going to be testing for his second degree black belt. So he is studying and training super hard and we are so excited. I may actually like take some video and put something, if he's not going to be too embarrassed. He'll probably be embarrassed. I don't want to embarrass him. <laughs> Oh, just foam? Okay. They have all different colors and kinds of foam at Joanne now. Honestly, the piece of foam I got was 99 cents. The Mod Podge was about $7, but I had a coupon. 
and I already had the wire and some other things. So honestly, if this is a complete fail, I'm not really out very much money. This tissue paper. I don't know. The tissue paper of patterns is so weird. It's like so fine and see-through. And I have my fan on in here and it's all floaty. I can believe it got like to 85, 86 degrees here today in Savannah. I was sweating my tutors off. And I know I'm not gonna explain what tutors are. Okay. So here we go. This is this is the piece that's going to be. I don't want to like put it on my head, forehead because I might sweat through it. It's such thin tissue paper. I should iron it. Who irons their pattern pieces? Anybody? Um, ironing makes it more precise when you're measuring out things. It's a pain in the butt for something little like this, though. I probably won't do it. I probably won't. Trying to draw, I have terrible art block. I've had that with like, right, I've had some writer's block lately, Marvel, where I'm like, I need to be writing something interesting and I can't. It's not coming, it's not, it's not there. And I sit and it's uncomfortable. All right, I have to do the other piece, the other pattern piece. Now, this one is the overlay, I think, that goes over the top of it that's going to be, can you even see that? There you go. That's going to be the overlay with little cutout pieces. <laughs> okay. I am cutting out pattern pieces. If you are joining the live stream, I do a crafting live stream every Tuesday night. Actually, I don't do a crafting live stream every Tuesday night. I do a live stream every Tuesday night. I'm thinking um, next year, at the end of the year, I'm thinking of changing the live stream format. Um, I may do the crafting one every Tuesday night and then just do tack chat on another night. Cause I'm losing my co-host when I'm moving. I'm not going to get emotional. <laughs> Don't. So I was thinking like I may do this more often cause making stuff is fun. All right. Uh Oh, uh -oh, oh my God. I'm tearing the pattern piece. <laughs> why i'm hoping to actually make some ground on what i'm doing here tonight like to have something to show people when we're done and not just me randomly cutting things and crafting on youtube for an hour all right let's see taylor's working on something <clears throat> ironing patterns is relaxing after rage quitting on other parts of the project that is true well if you have like a big a big project, yes. I feel like it's a waste to get the iron out and heat it up just for these two tiny little pieces of tissue paper, or is it not? Because I mean, I have the ironing board right there. Where even is my iron? Oh, and my iron's down there. I might, I might, I might. Because it only has to heat up a tiny little bit when you, if you're watching and you've never ironed a pattern piece before, it makes your measurements a lot more precise, but you um, only want to do it on like the lowest setting. So you don't like fry your paper because you will fry this delicate little tissue paper. I feel like I'm about to just tear this. I feel so giant and clumsy right now with this tiny little tissue paper work I'm doing with these giant clonky chonky scissors. Ugh, hang on. I'm annoyed. When you get to first, why did I think live streaming crafting would be a good idea? Because like 90% of it is getting frustrated at something that isn't going right. <laughs> so like, why did I sign up for this? All right. I don't know. Do I want to cut there? Yes, I do. I think okay I should have smaller scissors for this I don't think I have smaller scissors <laughs> okay y'all all get to watch me while we make our concentrated face show ponies 101 hello how are you do you are you a horse owner show ponies tell us about yourself do you make things for your horses 
I am making a foam, a craft foam crown that looks like metal because I want to make a bunch of foam armor for me and my horse, my horses. Um, because I'm extra like that. I just like to wear costumes and ride horses through the woods. <laughs> because why not? All right, this cutting is getting on my last dang nerve, y'all. I can't even. It's making me want to harm myself physically, like to slap myself in the face. Now, there's parts in the middle that you're supposed to cut out, but I'm not cutting those out right now. No. Tack tack won't complete. No, tack tack will not completely die. I still have tack to clean. That's what I'm thinking, though. I mean, I got tack to clean, so I just want to change the format and have a fun, ha make tack chat the fun hangout where, you know, again, we drink our wine and we um, get our tack clean. That has to be done, but we also have to make stuff for our horses because we're extra. Um, welcome to the crafting live stream. We craft here. Yes. Yeah, you can do what I'm doing in the crafting live stream, or you can do your own thing, because everybody kind of has their own creative kind of thing they do. Already, one of my pattern pieces is on the ground that has been blown there by the fans. Y'all, okay. All right, hang on. Ooh. Oh, no, that's, that's trash. <laughs> okay. That is really kind of yucky. Let me grab my um, iron. Oof. Yes, I said oof. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, here we go. Give me that. Y'all don't want to know what a mess this entire room is. All right, let me see. Can I plug this in somewhere? Put my craft foam over here. That was for drying something off. Do I need to move my unicorn? Isn't that a question we ask ourselves every day? Do I have to move my unicorn? One of the deep mysteries of life. It's always what we want to know. I'm going to have to iron those and then cut them out and make a pattern. All right, hang on, y'all. I'm going in. Oh, my gosh. No, my ears are messed up. I messed up my ears. Now it's caught in my hair. Nobody panic. All right, I've got my iron on my low, low setting. I am not going to knock over my diet, Dr. Barber. I am sweating. I am back in the chat. Excuse me. I'm burping. I'm so sorry, y'all. Marvel, what are you saying? I won an art raffle thing, and they drew my character. It's so cute. Oh, sweet. I love your drawings. Okay. Here's my Mod Podge. I got like the little thing of it. I haven't even opened it. What does it smell like? What is it? I got stuff on this. Ooh, chemically. Can I get this on my fingers? Am I going to die? It smells like glue. <laughs> All right, hang on. Ooh, does it dry like glue and you can peel it off in the little layers? <gasps> We're going to have fun tonight if that's the case. Okay, why can I, do I need to not take it all off then? I should probably have paper towels or something back here. Okay. That smells like glue, but like... No, if glue was making unhealthy life choices. Hang on, do I have something I can wipe my hands on? We're gonna wipe it on my leg. <laughs> All right, so what am I about to do? Oh, I think my iron might be warmed up. So we are going to iron these pattern pieces real quick. Hang on, y'all. It keeps blowing. Stop blowing my pattern, fan. Oh, there's a piece I forgot to. There's a piece I forgot to cut. Of course. This is already annoying me because it's small and delicate. I feel like what if I had started with a larger piece? It would be easier to cut. I'm dumb. Why do I outsmart myself on things like this, y'all? It's annoying. It's annoying. 
All right, I'm doing the other one. Hang on, hang on. I'm sorry to turn my back to y'all. Forgive me, forgive me. Okay. All right, there we go. See, that felt like a waste. I'm done with my iron. That's all I needed for. Did I really need to do that? I'm second guessing myself now. Okay, here we go. I have my pieces. And I can see why we want to put these on um, some cardboard because they're just flying everywhere and irritating me. <clears throat> All right. Can you hear me okay on the live stream? I've got the fan going. I still don't have um, microphones. And I'm a mess today. I did not bother, like, glamming all up. It's been a long day. So you've got sweaty from the barn, Michelle, tonight. Not glam. I'm ready for crafting live on YouTube. All right, who's talking to me? I need some more diet diet pepper. I wonder if I need to put it down with pin. Okay, I have to do a cardboard thing. Hang on, do it right side up. Why won't it go right side up? Hang on, y'all. I scared show ponies away. I don't know. You know what? Crafting's not everybody's thing. <laughs> um, Yeah, crafting is not everybody's thing, and not everybody makes stuff for their horse. This is niche, y'all. All right, hang on. I got to turn the rotation off. So what I need to do now, where are my pins? Because I need to pin this to the thing. Pardon me, everyone. Uh, please don't tell me my booty is right there. Yes, my booty is right there. I'm so sorry. Please apologize for my booty. Um, I have my straight pins. I'm going to pin it on and then draw around it. So let's see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm just burping and burping and burping, y'all. It is so gross. I can't. Okay. This is too big of a piece of cardboard. Okay. I am. Can we see what I'm doing? Let me at least start it. So I am pinning this to the cardboard. And speaking of waste, like putting on the iron, it just feels like to put the tissue on the cardboard and then cut out the cardboard and then put the cardboard on the foam and then cut out the foam. It just seems like a lot of extra steps. Ow! That one got caught in my finger. That was not fun. All right. Okay, I think that's okay. <laughs> I don't want it to sag. Some things it's okay if they sag, but some things, you know, when you're doing arts and crafts, there are things you don't want to sag. Okay, got my scrape pins going on. All right. Ah, where'd my pin go? No! Okay. And y'all, you know what? I'm such a doof. I didn't even think like I'm going to have to be wearing my helmet when I ride. So I don't even know if this crown will fit over my helmet. Like when am I going to wear it on horseback? But again, this is like my template. This is my template. This is what we do in first. Ruby's here. Hey. Oh, yeah, I wonder where Willow's been, too. I haven't seen her around. Is she on Instagram or anywhere that anywhere else I could follow her besides YouTube? Not that I want to follow her around, but, like, when we want to know what our friends are doing. You know what I'm saying? 
My chat buddies, I am sweating like a goon. I don't even know what a goon is or how a goon sweats. Okay, now we're going to outline this very carefully. Here we go. Can I even, can I, can we, can we? I'm just going to do this. Forget it. Forget it. So I'm guessing for the larger pieces, it's just the same kind of thing. Have the pattern and cut it out. I wonder how long it would take me to figure out how to design my own pieces. I wonder what I'd even want because, like I said, this one has a shoulder and a crown and a couple of other pieces. And then this one is really cool, but it just required too many materials. And I thought, I don't want to mess things up for that much money. Um, but there's that. And that just looks awesome. You know, I could either put the crown, I don't know on the outside of a helmet. What about a helmet cover that has something like this on the front and then has a wig coming out of the thing? So like you're wearing a helmet, but you can't tell because it's disguised by the crown and the wig. Oh, oh, I want to do a thing now. <gasps> okay, I got to get busy. I got to get busy. Does anybody else who's watching, are you excited by what I just said? Because I am. I don't know if she's on Instagram. Studio friend, she says she loves your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I am a mess today. But you know, when you have like weird colored hair, you can be a total mess and people will go, I love your hair. Because they don't necessarily mean you don't look like trash. They mean the hair color is cool. I love it. Okay, I am tracing this pattern. Uh-oh. This is not going to be precise. Oh, it's going to annoy me. That's that. Again, I like that left brain thing. I like to put together the pattern instructions exactly. I like it to be just right. We're putting together furniture. Oh my God, I love putting together furniture. I, I get right down to business. I sit down with the instructions and I read it and I just, and I make piles of everything and I make sure, okay, these are the A pieces and these are the B pieces and everything is a court. And then sometimes I can't understand the instructions. So I have to study it. I just love stuff like that. When I was a kid, I always loved paint by numbers. Don't make fun of me. All my followers who are painters, please, please, please don't make fun of me. But I loved paint by numbers. I always, had, I, I think I bought every single horse paint by number that ever was made in the 70s and the 80s. Y'all, that was like, that was some, that was cool art in the 70s. Okay, <laughs> paint by number. Do they even have those anymore? My young people who are watching this, do you even know what a paint by numbers is? Helmet cover, yes, right? The helmet cover with the wig. I bet that would look cool. So it doesn't even look like you're wearing like a helmet. So then you can have your full costume on and have a crown with the wig coming out the back and it can be any color wig. It can be any color hair. <laughs> this is so exciting, okay. But I know some of these cosplays that people do are so elaborate and wonderful. There's one that I follow. I think it's Ginny D. I, she's on YouTube also. She does amazing um, cosplay things. Sarah Spaceman, I think, is another one on Instagram. Um, I follow a couple of uh, cute cosplay. I say cute. Did I just turn this around so it's the same? But, I mean, they're, they're good. I just I look at their pictures, and I'm like, oh, they've come to life. It's so amazing. And I am not at that level where I have these elaborate costumes. I just, I'm the kind of person where I see something cool and I'm like, oh, I bet I can make that. <laughs> All right. This one's about to be down. And then we can pin the other one and do the other one. <clears throat> okay. Hang on, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, y'all. Almost done. I'm afraid it probably looks doofy underneath that. Mm, please don't let it look bad. 
Where's my cap? There. Okay, so here we go. Where's my pins? Hang on, where's my pins? Oh, they're there. All right, pins. Okay. So here's our pins, and we are going to. All right, now I'm gonna get excited taking pins out, end up ripping this stupid tissue paper. Ow! Yikes. That was yikes. That wasn't bad yikes, but it was just slight yikes. Okay, where are you going? I don't need you anymore, do I? Oh, I'm gonna need this for reference because there are pattern pieces to cut out of the foam, so I'm gonna need that for reference. But here it is, all cut out, or all drawn on the cardboard. And so now where's the other piece? Here's the other piece. We're gonna pin that on. My sister did a paint by number full size mantle painting. <sighs> I just got goosebumps. <laughs> Ruby, anybody who is a real painter would probably die watching me. I, I obsess, I get tunnel vision. I, paint by numbers are my jam. <laughs> they have great ones, wow! So much. oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Now I wanna go get a paint by number. I can't paint like actual people who can paint things that they see in their mind. They're like, hmm, I think I'll paint a flower. And then they paint and it looks like what happened in their mind. I can't do that. Something happens between my brain and my hand. Like my hands can make puppets, my hands can sew. I can, um, I can do all kinds of things with these hands, but painting the visual image is something it's difficult to translate. And the only thing I can draw is horses and unicorns, obviously. But, and that's just years of practice. That was all I ever drew as a child, of course, was horses, 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 and the horses, horses. Just obsessed. I know, no way, right? <laughs> but yeah, I've been obsessed forever. Forever, not forever, since the 70s, which for some of y'all is essentially forever. Right. I can't paint at all. That's so funny that you're such a talented illustrator, but painting is not the medium. Okay. I am doing this. Oh, and Marvel, I thought about you the other day. I am trying to learn how to do digital, better digital art. I can't, I don't have like Photoshop. I don't have any kind of drawing program. Like I have Canva where I can make things, I can put together digital images and make stuff, but to have a drawing that I turn into a digital thing and a digital element that I can manipulate, I don't know how to do that. So my friend Casey's been helping me, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. I think I'm gonna do GIMP maybe, and then something else, I have it written down somewhere. I have to write everything down because I'm old. And all the stuff I have to learn. See, all my degree, I like I said, my degree's in theater, so everything that I know how to do is live theater, from writing a show to costuming to directing it and performing and even you know set design and things like that. But this whole digital online stuff, like what my degree is from the '90s, okay? Like all this computer stuff happened after I was a grown up. I'm not a millennial. I'm Generation X. I'm your crazy Aunt Michelle. Okay. Oh no. There is now a pin in my lap. Please, please, please don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere, pin. Thank you. Thank you, pin. Okay, y'all. I'm actually excited for this crown. I couldn't find a gemstone that I wanted. You're supposed to get a flat backed gem to hot glue into the center because a princess is not a princess or a queen is not a queen without a hot glued glass gemstone in the center of her forehead. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Here's the other piece. Um, draw with a phone app called Ibis Paint. Okay, and the stylus that came with my phone. Do you know what? I have a stylus on this phone. I bet. I wonder if I could do it on an app on my phone, and that might be easier than me trying to do this crap on my computer. Mm, maybe. Mm, I don't know. 
But we did the newest t-shirt in our t-shirt shop is a design that I drew and that my friend Casey uh, did. It's at unicornandcentaur.com at my um, website. But go to the shop page of unicornandcentaur.com and you can see it. It's the, um, the quit being extra design with the unicorn kicking up its heels. I, I drew that. E. So, all right, I am now outlining this piece. Okay, is this going through? I'm not sure. There's a part that should be cut out that's not, that I may have to. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to do this crown silver, by the way, not gold. I like silver better, and my fairy queen wings are silver edged and silver glitter, and when I dress up with Artax, this is gonna be a fairy queen crown. The fairy queen crown I have right now is a plastic tiara from the dollar store. I'm not even making that up. It's so sad. <laughs> so I am making my fairy queen character a crown so that she doesn't have to be quite so people of Walmart. Okay. That. I'm trying to up my game a little bit. You know, y'all, like I said, I don't have a big old budget. I got to do this a little bit at a time. Hmm. All right. And I might stay on a little bit after more than an hour tonight just because I don't know how long this is going to take. Okay. Tracing is fun. Okay. I'm kind of excited about it. it. looked really small at first, but now that I'm looking at it, I see, okay. This is gonna be a rather substantial crown. This is gonna look cute on camera. So I still have to find a gemstone for this. The ones that they had in Joanne fabric were very disappointing. I was very disappointed. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. All right, I, oh, I kind of feel like I rushed this one. I hope it doesn't look gross. We're about to see. Okay. Here we go. Boot to boot and you and you and your friend can go back in there. All you guys, everybody, nobody's playing around anymore. You're done. You back in the pool. Uh-uh. So there we go. Wait a minute. What, how do we know which one? This one just fatter, is that the bottom one? Okay, that one is a little bit fatter. They look exactly the same. I feel like these people are messing with me. I mean, this part right here, but... What the heck? Hang on, where's the other pattern beads? Why didn't I lay them on top of each other? So this is piece 42. I'm gonna lay that back there. Where's the other one? Where did the other piece go? Did I throw it away in a rage because I was never gonna need it again? What's wrong with me? No, that was something else. Oh, forget it. While I'm thinking about what I've done with my life, I'm gonna cut these out because that's just weird. All right, I'm just using kitchen scissors to cut these out. What happened to my thing? This is my confused face. The fan must have blown it somewhere, but where? But where? But where has it gone? Fine, I don't need you anymore. See, because now I don't remember which piece was which, y'all. This is why I can't have nice things. You know, going from the tissue to the cardboard now to the foam, this is just going to get bigger and thicker. Okay. I feel like poster board would have been better for this. I'm 
thoroughly annoyed with this process. Now this is down. I don't know where my other pattern piece went. Ah, ah, Emily's here. Good evening, Queen Michelle. <laughs> Thank you for voting. Hey, girl, doing my part. <laughs> you crazy, Aunt Michelle. Yes. All right, hang on. I'm sweating again, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. It's coming through. So here's what we're doing, Emily. If you haven't been here, I have pattern pieces that I've cut out for this pattern. Here's a brief recap. I'm not making the whole pattern. I'm just doing the crown because I've never done anything like this before. So I want to start small. So if it sucks and I totally fail, then I'm only out $2. So there are these pattern pieces that I got out of tissue and I have now made templates on cardboard that I am cutting out. What time is it? 10, 11. And I've already lost a pattern piece. I've already lost a pattern piece and I'm feeling kind of sad about it. So pretty much this is craft foam and then it gets coated with Mod Podge and painted and I think it gets glued together or I don't know if the Mod Podge holds it together. I'm not even sure. All right. I'm, I'm feeling some type of way about this. Okay. I have a razor blade, but I don't think it'll go through all the layers very nicely. Not that the scissors are going through the layers nicely. God, even paper. Why am I doing cardboard? Why am I making so much work for myself? Do y'all know? Why am I like this? A couple of y'all have been following me for a little while. Have I been like this for a while or is this a new thing? I need to know. <laughs> All right. My knuckles are starting to hurt. You know when you cut cardboard, too much cardboard? My knuckles right here. Meh. Girl, you're going to get arthritis. I know it. That's what I'm saying. I'm annoyed with this. I have a razor blade. You get arthritis or carpal tunnel or something. I'm too old just to be cut in cardboard. What is wrong with me? I feel like this is going to be deformed now, though. <laughs> and, and then my foam one isn't going to look anything like the... What are you doing tonight? Watching a middle-aged lady on YouTube fail at cutting cardboard. All right. I know I'm saying all right too much. I can't help it. <laughs> this is my cutting cardboard face. Okay, this is happening. This is happening. It's starting to take shape. Wait, I'm not feeling so sad anymore, you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's starting to be okay. I may have to get the little corner. There's like little bitty little bitty parts right there. Actually, I may wait and just cut them out of the foam and not try to get them out of the, think Michelle, think Michelle, think. I don't have to do that. I don't have to get arthritis and carpal tunnel syndrome, cutting all of it out of the cardboard. I can cut the little details out from the foam itself. I'm almost done. Y'all don't panic. <laughs> okay, next, note to self. This probably is better done. Maybe the next one I'll try with the razor blade and do it on the cardboard so I can cut through it, and we'll see if that makes me not want to die. So I've got my little template for the cardboard. Imagine it on me. Oh, my gosh, I'm so cute. It's sweaty. <laughs> okay. Y'all be serious. Okay, where's the other one? Where's the other one? <laughs> Here it is. 
Where's the cardboard? Here it is. All right, this is what we finna do. Where is my razor blade? We're gonna try it this way. Can I get it through all the layers? That might be just as annoying because the razor blade doesn't really do. Um, curves very well. All right, who's going to call 911 when I cut myself? Let's see, Taylor, you're here in Savannah, so it might, it should probably be you. <laughs> okay, and that's not even going along the line, though. Is that going through? It's not even going through the cardboard. <laughs> okay. Nope. No. We're just going right back to this. This. There we go. I'm sorry. I just have to risk my knuckles because I can't. I think an X-Acto knife would do it. Scott might have an X-Acto knife. Maybe next time I can have an X-Acto knife. Once I have my templates, I'm going to cut these out of foam. And then that's where things get exciting, children. That's where this starts to come together. That's where we start to make progress as a team, as a family. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. Y'all, I almost just cut my finger. Did you see that? You come here for the thrills and the chills. Admit it. Because one day I'm going to do something serious on one of these live streams and have to stop it because I'm bleeding. <laughs> we, just, we all know it's going to be one day. Are you going to be here when it happens? Tune in. What will it be tonight? Super glue, hot glue, scissors, a hot iron. <laughs> okay. And what's with this duct tape? I got, I stole, I'm tearing, getting, I stole this from Liam. He will save cardboard and make stuff out of it. So this was a scrap from what Liam had from making things. <clears throat> so yes, I stole from my child. Judge me. Fine. Okay. Who's here? Oh, Lauren's here. Hello. Hello, hello. Lauren, yeah. As of, no, we don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about the politics tonight. I just want to cut things out of cardboard and make my fingers ache. And I don't even want to, I'm not even dealing with the outside world. Y'all are the only outside world I'm dealing with right now. I did my duty. I did my thing. But yeah. I just want to try to make this crown. I'm making myself a crown because no one will crown me official queen of anything. So I'm making my own crown. So you guys can't stop me. That's what this whole thing is about. Lauren, if y'all follow my Instagram, you know Lauren because I posted a couple pictures of her the other day. She came and rode with me. Our text was so sweet for her. My our text is such a baby. We went for a walk in the woods today, like hand walking him, and he was just precious. I love that doofy little horse. Yeah. My ponies. And we had a lesson today. Actually, it wasn't a lesson. Um, my lesson student, Suzanne, came and brought her dad, and they had like a father-daughter uh, ride. Uh, we did a trail ride through the woods. It was so much fun. And he, he was adorable. He could not stop talking about the horses. He fell in love with Sonny. Sonny was chill and smooth and wonderful. And he just, he couldn't stop petting him and talking to him. And I mean, I'm sorry, when people fall in love with my horses, that's, that's your way to my heart. That's how to flatter me. Don't flatter me. Tell me how much you love my horses. <laughs> My, my uh, doofy little unicorns are the cutest ever. Okay. I have to be almost done with this in some way. This has to happen. 
Right. You know, what's messing with me even more than politics is the whole daylight savings time. It feels late. It'll be like dark and I'm like today taking Liam, bringing Liam home from Taekwondo. It's like dark and I'm like, what is all this traffic doing on the road at 8.30 at night? And it's 6.30 and I'm like, what? Like it doesn't even feel like it's an hour change. It feels like, it feels like we were robbed. It's so rude. He was a good boy. Yeah, Sonny is a Sonny can be strange, but he is a very good boy when he needs to be. And he liked Joe today. He and Joe got along just fine. There's a picture on Instagram if you want to see. And of course, he's like leaning over and petting Sonny in the picture. He couldn't stop. I think every picture I got of him today, he was petting Sonny. <laughs> Leaned over petting him, telling him what a good boy he is. Oh my God, I love it. Yes. So yeah, if you're in the Savannah area, come take a lesson, come go for a trail ride. Cause I need to save money to move my ponies to Texas. I'm not sure what unicorn services I'm going to be able to offer in Texas because a lot of what I do here was limited to the facility that I'm at currently. Cause I like, I don't do birthday parties cause I don't have a party venue of all at all. So, I mean, I don't really like doing birthday parties either, but so it's just like a magical unicorn encounter that I do. You can come ride the unicorn, but not 50 kids at a time. You know, it's more like one to three people at a time. So I don't know how that will change once I get to Texas. All right. Oh, there's some more stuff to get off. I think I'm about at the next stage, everyone. I'm almost there. Okay. I think actually I can get this part cut. Okay. All right. So um, Thursday's video is going to be the video of uh, me walking Artax. And there's another equestrian film review that's going to be coming up on Sunday. That is where I review regular movies, um, not movies about horses. I just review regular movies, but that happen to have horses in them. So I review movies, but only the parts that matter, i.e. the parts with the horses. All right. I think I am done cutting things out of cardboard forever. Here's this piece. Here's this piece. And I'm pretty sure, I think this is the one that goes on top of this one. What is the difference? Cause it looks like, oh, I see there's pieces cut out. That's why maybe that just makes it thicker. And then there's the pieces cut out. Maybe it's supposed to be the same. I don't know. See, this is the first time I've done this. Okay. Now it's time to read our instructions one more time. <laughs> I want to go on a trail ride. Yes, that would be so much fun to go on a trail ride. Trail rides are my favorite. Sometimes we just dupe on around for 20 minutes, wander around back there and come on back to the barn. Sometimes we really like walk around and go someplace and check things out. Lauren, there are a couple more opportunities for you to come ride with me before I go. So please, please, please take advantage. Okay, let's see where we are, everyone. Craft foam has become very popular in crafting due to its versatility. These lightweight foam sheets are flexible. It can be shaped, molded, painted, etched, and embellished. Okay. The template is needed. Cut out the individual shapes in the pattern tissue and glue onto the cardboard. I didn't glue them onto the cardboard, so there. Cut out template using scissors. There you go. Using a pencil, trace around template to transfer shape to craft foam. That's where we are now. That's the step we're on. Then cut along the trace line. Okay, so I need a pencil. Why did they tell me to get the big sheet? There were, there were like eight by 12 sheets or something like that, but they said to get the 12 by 18, but look at this. I could have done that with one half the size. You old pattern, I don't like you. 
Hang on, I need a pencil. Do I have one over here? Yes, hang on. Don't panic, everyone. Here I come. I'm coming back. Beep, 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 beep. All right. So here we go. We're going to start at this end of the craft foam and sketch with a pencil. Is it going to? Oh, yeah, it shows up just fine. Huh. It seems. Okay, well, I'll, I'll be cutting it out on the inside of these lines. So this does make sense. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to be right up at the top. Excuse me. Quick question I ask everyone, what if you were to win the lottery, what would you do with it? Oh, time for bed. Night, night, Lauren. Always be prepared for magical accidents. Let's see. Marvel, I think what I would do um, if I won the lottery, I would have a place for my horses and my family. You know, I'd probably have a, a buy myself a place for Unicorn and Centaur because I don't have that right now. Um and then one of the things I would like to do, if I ever get successful, if Unicorn and Centaur ever gets really successful and makes a lot of money, one of the things I would like to do, I guess that would be winning the lottery too, um, is to have some sort of fund or a program for people who have horses and fall on hard times. Because it's not just rich people that have horses, there are just regular ordinary people. And sometimes there's a vet bill, and then there's another vet bill, and then there's another vet bill. and even though you have emergency funds saved, sometimes they go dangerously low. And I would love to be able to be that person to say, look, here is three months worth of hay and grain for your horses. Um, here, I just paid your vet, vet bill. Um, for people anywhere who just find themselves needing a little bit of help, um, I don't know, because I, I feel like a lot of times with horses, what I see in the horse world is that people who don't have as much money are afraid to reach out for help. And it, their horses suffer because of it because they, if they don't have the money for the vet they're afraid to call the vet and they're afraid to ask for help because people are going to judge you you know well if you don't have money you shouldn't have horses but that's not always how everything works so i i would love to be able to help people who find themselves in situations like that i don't yet know how i would do it because you know some people there are scammers out there who just would like to have free money and wait a minute am i going off the rails here Anyway, I would love to be able to do something like that for people, but I don't, I don't, I don't have that kind of money right now. And I also want to be able to buy each and every one of my friends a pony. <laughs> Everybody gets a pony. You get a pony and you get a pony and you get a pony. Everybody gets a pony. Uh, this I don't even know if this is gonna look right. It's so weird. The um the pencil isn't really marking it. It's marking it, but it's also kind of making a dent in it. So okay, I will fix that in a second. Now I'm gonna make sure it lines up again. It looks kind of ratchet right now. I'm judging it. Feeling judgy. I'm feeling real judgy. All right, we're going to put it upside down for this. Let's make sure. I want to make sure that it doesn't like go up or down one side or the other. I'm trying to keep it even as I'm doing it here. Okay. So. This is really awkward. I guess I can't imagine honestly doing this for like a big suit of armor or a big like a big costume piece. This is tedious. This is something. I guess there's a lot about art and making things that is tedious. There's a lot about creativity that's tedious. A lot about life that's tedious. You got to get through the boring parts to get good enough at things. 
so that it's fun. There's not a whole lot that's fun when you're not good at it. I don't know. Can you think of what's what's something that's fun when you're not good at it? Okay, I believe that I did all of that. Ooh, my pieces. Okay, there is one of the pieces. Okay, Lauren has gone to bed. I should really be, I don't know. I feel like I should be conserving the foam a little bit more. Okay, now this is the part where I, I wonder. I have to be precise on this because this is the actual crown. This is not some random stupid bit of paper. This is Her Majesty's crown. I feel like I'm going to get to the Mod Podge tonight, y'all. I'm at the very least going to get to that step. The next crafting live stream that we do in two weeks, I'm probably going to be doing more of this. If I don't finish this, I'll finish this uh, uh, until then. Uh, I will finish it on the next crafting stream. And if I finish it, I may start on something else. We'll see. You'll know if I start the next live stream and I'm wearing it. And I'm like, hello, everyone. What? <laughs> this old thing. I wonder if I should be using my fabric scissors for this. Uh -huh. Okay, this is annoying. Where are the scissors? Mm -hmm. Horse riding's fun, even if you're not good. Okay, you got oh, that was obvious. How did I miss that one, Marvel? That horseback riding is good, e fun, even when you're not good at it. Yes. You know what? When I have, I teach beginner students. So when I have students that, some students get it more than others. Some people, when they start riding, it, they, it, they're natural at it. And they start really moving with it. But some people are a lot more awkward. And it takes them a lot longer to integrate the... Um, movements and to really be comfortable doing it and I always tell them that the bad news is that you need practice the good news is that the practice is so much fun and that's what writing feels like to me because I'm not the best writer in the world and there are times when I'm like well I need practice that is the bad news but the good news is that's gonna be a whole lot of fun Okay, now hang on. How do I want to do this? Swoop daddy. Did I just say swoop daddy? Okay, I started to go faster there. Did you guys see that? And it's scaring me a little bit. I need to calm down. Woo! Okay. That looks good. It's looking good. Okay, I'm feeling excited. I don't know about y'all. But I just became emotionally available to myself. Okay. Oh, don't do too much, though. I'm trying to make it match sides now. That's the thing. Each side has to match. It's like eyebrows. I know that they're sisters, not twins. But still, they need to, they need to behave. And I feel like each side of this crown needs to behave. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not talking. I got totally <laughs> into I'm not I'm like totally neglect neglecting the live stream. If anybody just randomly clicked over in that one minute that I was just sitting here staring and cutting, they were probably like, what is going on on this channel? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm just like super concentrating. I'm super concentrated. is actually starting to look good. It's starting to look like a thing. Do I dare get excited about this, you guys? Y'all. Y'all, okay. I can feel the sweat on my neck and it's annoying me. Sweat on my neck. Is it cold where you are? Whoever's still watching here today? Marvel. I don't even know. Is Zadel here? Still here? Lurking back here somewhere? Is it cold where you guys are, or are there more Georgia and Florida people? Looking pretty, pretty legit. I know, right? Now that it's... Hang on. Like, I'm cutting out the cardboard going, this looks so third grade. <laughs> and now that the foam pieces are happening, that's like the shape it's going to be. That's kind of cool. Okay. Pardon me. That was a gosh, y'all. That's what you tune in for is the Dr. Pepper burps. That's what we finna do. Okay. Wait a minute. That doesn't look like that. Why? Where's my template? Why didn't this happen? Okay, I think I see where I'm going wrong. I think I see where this is happening. I almost got too much off. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm concentrating. Wait, I'm like at the very end and it's suddenly like all starting to go wrong. Wait, no. <laughs> okay. All right. I feel like this. Look at that. Now we're talking. So this is going to get the Mod Podge put on it. I'm so excited for everything. It makes me look kind of evil queen. I guess, okay, it's gonna be silver. Calm down, Michelle. And it's not like looking like an evil queen's a bad thing. All right, now I need to do this one. So we are going to outline this one in pencil. Where'd my pencil go? There it is. Mm -hmm. uh, um, it's like 70. So, oh, Zadel's still here, yes. Um, 70, if that's cold, it's cold to me. <laughs> when it dips down in the 60s, I start like, oh. Stray black cat every night goes to the front porch and begs for food. Oh, you've got a kitty. There's a kitten next door that Liam and I are, I can't, I have four cats. I can't have a fifth cat, but there's a kitten next door. Y'all give me strength. It's not friendly too. Oh, the other day I rescued it out of a stupid little bush, the little thing. It's like a little half grown kitten and I'm out doing laundry and I hear, meow, meow, meow. you know how dramatic cats are. I'm like, huh? So I go to the next door neighbors and this little cat is caught by its hind paw. It was like this bush where the branches grow straight like up and the little stupid thing had got its little foot caught in the, the, in between two and was hanging there by his little back foot and I'm like, oh baby, and I go to save it and it starts going <laughs> and freaking out and trying to kill me and rip my face off. So I had to like put the sticks, uh, uh, put the little things aside and push its little foot out and then of course it ran off and we saw it again today. So apparently it's fine now, but oh my God, it thought I was trying to kill it. It was trapped and it thought it was about to die. Bless it. <laughs> little thing. I don't know what I would do if the cat, like, like I need a cat to be friends with me now. What am I going to do? Why is that like that? So yeah, that's the worst part when you help an animal and it has no idea you're being its friend. That honestly is the worst. It's so heartbreaking. You're like, no, but we're best friends. You like me. I just did a nice thing for you. And they're like, ah, get out of here. I hate you. <laughs> Humans are the worst. Well, a lot of us are, but not me. 
Okay, I don't feel like I'm being as successful at this one. Is this crooked? I'm feeling angry. All right, I'm not going to worry about it being crooked. I am going to just cut it. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue. <laughs> Can't get animals to like me. Aw. Animals, animals really like Liam. I'm not sure what it is about him, but those like Liam's one of those people where he'll an animal will come up to him and the owner will be like, oh, you know, don't worry if he doesn't like you. He hates everyone, but the animal's already, you know, snuggling up to Liam. And he's just always been like that. I think they just know he's cool. Sonny, my horse Sonny just loves, uh, just, I think he thinks of Liam as like his little buddy. He's like, hey, little bro, you want to go for a ride? All right, cool. All right, is that, I see I'm starting to get kind of off. I can't do this, y'all. All right, there we go. See, that kind of got off a little bit. Mm. All right. I probably have the most fantastic face right now. Mm. That'll be one for the thumbnail. <laughs> Picture for the thumbnail. Okay. That looks like a thing, maybe. And it looks ugly, but remember the other one looked ugly. The other one looked ugly. Don't panic, everyone. That is my mantra lately. Don't panic. Don't panic. No, don't. It's going to be all right. I feel like I need to turn it around. I did that for the other one, didn't I? Okay. All right. Why? I should probably have this like down on a surface and do it and that would make it easier. But I'm kind of hard headed and I already started doing it this way. That doesn't make me feel better. All right. Oh, but I do get to check it this way. Hang on everyone, hang on, hang on. All right, this works much better. We're about, okay, that was faster. Wow, why am I so hard headed? Why am I like this? I don't think anybody knows. I don't even think my mother knows. I only panic. <laughs> Panicking, you know what? It doesn't do any good. I always say don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. I have anxiety, so sometimes I do panic. Sometimes I'm able to talk myself out of it, talk myself down from the ledge, so to speak. Okay, now I gotta do this again. If this is exactly the same as the other one, this is gonna be weird. Because it's gonna be slightly different. Like it's not gonna actually completely line up. Right, here we go again. Here we go. The silent portion of the live stream. Y'all, I have to admit, every time I look at myself on the monitor here, it looks, my face looks so like pale. Because normally, like before I do a live stream, it's almost like when I used to do plays, I'll sit here and get ready and I'll put on some makeup. And today that just didn't happen. Like I have whatever on whatever's on my face is whatever didn't melt off after the day out at the barn today. Can't believe it. I was so excited to be able to do makeup without sweating it all off. And then here comes today. It's just. Mm, ah, ah, professional panicking. I'm a professional panicker, which is why I'm also a professional don't panicker. <laughs> It helps. 
we are going to get this done. We're going to Mod Podge these pieces. Is that how this goes? I'm kind of excited to do the Mod Podge part. It says it only takes 15 minutes to dry, but I'm wondering if it takes longer than that. Because the sculptor coat that I use, the plastic cream that I use to make my unicorn horns, it says it takes two hours to dry, but it takes more like 24 hours here, which is, as you may realize, a lot longer than two hours. So now the big question is, do I want to, hang on, I've got these areas here where there's a little place to cut out, but it didn't sort of transfer, so I want to. make sure I'm doing that right. Okay, now I'm going to cut that and then I think I'm ready to Mod Podge it. Almost done cutting. It's so exciting. I just don't know what I'm going to do with myself once the cutting is over. It's going to be like the letdown after you finish a really great novel series. Okay. This is looking like a thing. It's looking like a thing. Again, I can see how doing this with more elaborate costumes like doing a whole set of armor or I saw what was her name there's a channel I just subscribed to this cosplayer who did this really amazing Wonder Woman cosplay um and it's like the costume from the new from the 20 the movie from last year and oh she looks amazing I have to link that let me see if I can remember to link that afterwards and it was just, a lot of it was this armor and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I really need to get to where I can do this. Let's see. It doesn't quite line up, but maybe that's kind of what it's supposed to do. Um, and there's going to be cutout pieces on the front. It's definitely starting to look like a thing. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh my gosh, it's 1048. <clears throat> I was going to keep going because I wanted to get to the Mod, Pod Mod Podge part. Oh, Allison's here. Hey, first time stopping in on Crafting Tuesday. Yes. Um, Allison, yes, y'all go subscribe to Allison's channel. She does um, a lot of unicorn stuff on her channel. Uh, the, the, a huge uh, unicorn pool float unboxing. And um, of course we did our Halloween collab together. Um, what else was I gonna say? What's next? Hang on, on my thing here. So this is going to be my crown. Of course it's gonna be silver and not black. So we are at the point Cut the shapes along the trace line. Be very careful when cutting out the foam. Uh, yeah. Use two coats of Mod Podge glue to seal the foam and prevent the color paint from soaking into the foam. Let it dry for 15 minutes between coats. So I am going to... Here is the cardboard. So I'm going to set it on the cardboard to dry once it's done. Hang on, excuse me. I'm going to set the cardboard under here. So I'm going to Mod Podge it. Where is, I need a br I need more brushes. These brushes are sad. They're like, hang on, I'll show you. Most of the ones that I'm looking at are just garbage. Look at this. That is like, I just bought a 98 cent watercolor 
thing. That's, what is that? I don't even know why I'm putting them back in there. It's making me angry. So, where's my Mod Podge? Mod Podge, Mod Podge, Mod, Mod Podge. Say that 10 times fast. My pieces. So we are going to, you know, eventually I would love to have two cameras for live streaming and be able to go back and forth. Like what if I had for the crafting ones, if I had a camera of above, so then we could toggle back and forth if I'm talking about something and then I'm, now I'm doing it so then I can put it down and the overhead camera can take over. Is this what I want to do? And when you coat it, do you coat both sides? Seems like a lot. Do I want to, hang on, let me put this down somewhere. It really is like glue. It's like exactly like glue. Do I want it to be, who's worked with Mod Podge before? Do I want it to be a really thin layer or is it okay to have these brush strokes? And do I want to get like the edges? I feel like I've, this feels like it should be easy, but why do I have questions? See, I'm learning. I'm learning. And if I go this slowly, I'm going to be done. Whoa. I mean, I'm not going to be done by the time. One end's going to be done, dried by the time I'm done. That's at the second end. All right. And if I put it down on the cardboard, though, it's going to get all over the cardboard. And then nobody can see me. This is why I need an overhead camera. That doesn't work. See that? Maybe I should do one side then the other. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one side then the other. Sorry y'all, I can't even smart tonight. I can't smart. All right, so I am going to Mod Podge one side and let that dry and then one side of the other one and let it dry. And then turn it over and do the other side. We are all learning. And I'm getting this glue everywhere, y'all. I hope you know. It's going everywhere. And it, like, gloops up around the edges. Is that supposed to be thin? Is anybody answering me? Yeah, two cameras would be cool, right? Second coat will hide the brush strokes. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Taylor. Um, so weird. It's more liquidy than I thought it would be. Like it's liquid. All right, I'm almost done with one side of it. It is kind of fun to paint it on. And it does have kind of a satisfying glue-like texture. We'll see if these brush strokes get hidden. We'll see. I'm learning. I'm learning. Learning. I'm learning. Okay. I'm just going to let that be like that. It looks. Okay. Where's the other one? Now it's time for the other one. We are mud pudging. So after the Mod Podge dries, it gets painted. And then after painting the pieces, they are assembled. I'm not sure how they're put together. I don't think they're hot glued. And I don't know if they just stick together with the Mod Podge or with the paint. I'm not sure. I even read these instructions earlier and I don't remember kids. Hey now. This, I can't wait to make things for the horses. I wonder if something like this would be good for a unicorn horn base to make something like this for the horns to come out of, to go over the top of a brow band. That's an idea. It's definitely an idea. Because I'm not totally happy with the way my unicorn horns fit on the bridles. It's not my favorite thing. 
I'm looking for new solutions to those problems. That's all that, what I learned doing puppetry for 20 years is what my puppetry mentor taught me was uh, that puppetry is just creative problem solving. And I was like, you know what, that's kind of any art really. You're trying to think of what to make and it's not like there's a manual for everything, unless you're doing paint by numbers. But you have to make something, even when I'm doing this pattern, I'm following instructions, but it's, I have to solve these problems and figure it out. Okay. This is what this looks like while it's drying. You can see the strokes. And I'm going to let that do like that for right now. Whoa. Trying to get my Thing. I'm just going to hold it. Okay, I'm going to put that off to the side for now. Those need to dry for a minute, and I'll do the other side just for a few minutes. Did you shake? Taylor. No, I didn't. I think I did earlier, but not like right before. Smooth out the ends. What do you mean smooth? Oh, smooth out the ends like um, on the edges of, um, the, of where it is. Taylor. Why didn't you tell me this before? Why well, I need supervision. I can't adult by myself. Fine. I hope you're laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, Allison, you've done, I haven't done Mod Podge before. This is my first time using it and clearly I needed to know how to shake it up. Excuse me, and not like Taylor Swift. All right. What I wish, sometimes I wish I knew what I was doing. It's not time to paint the other, I can't paint the other side yet. Why am I doing this? Why am I like this? I'm hard headed. But again, I have so much more of this foam. If these get. I have so much foam if these pieces get messed up and I'm like, you know what? I need some other place to dry it. I need some other place to deal with it. I need to shake the Mod Podge first. Whatever I'm doing with my life, I can do it again. I can make three of them before next time. You can't tell me what to do. All right, I at least want to get these done with the Mod Podge before I end the live stream. I know it's been over an hour, but y'all, are y'all still making stuff? Who's still with me? It's like we're hanging. Oh, I got some on my shirt. It's like we're hanging out together. I have missed our Willow tonight, and I've missed Geek Girl. Kelly hasn't shown up. Some of our regulars. Okay. I've been trying to recruit some more people from the Extra Equestrians group on Facebook. I really want that group to be fun. Is that weird? I guess it's something I'm doing, so it's probably weird. I'm just getting this all over my fingers. I don't even care. This is me not caring. So there we go. It's kind of a thing. It's kind of a thing. Not ready for tomorrow. Battery at 15%. Plug that in. Plug it in. I thought you knew to shake. I don't know anything. I never know anything about anything. I pretend I know what I'm doing. That is honestly one of my biggest, it's a blessing and a curse. I always act like I know what I'm doing. And sometimes it's great because I get away with things, not get away with stuff in a bad way, but like I, I pull stuff off because <laughs> I act like I know what I'm doing. But sometimes it's a disaster because people think I know what I'm doing. And I really, really don't. <laughs> I'm just, I, I try to pretend like I'm this magical, amazing person, but I'm really just kind of an ordinary weirdo stumbling through life, <laughs> trying to do cool stuff. That's me. Okay, that is looking a little bit better. 
I should I attempt the other side of the other one? Maybe. I am looking down at it. I really do need another camera. I need to be able to show you guys like, and then I can have something laid out on a table in front of me. Let's see. This would be fan fruiting tastic. So yes, Allison, if you're still here, you should do, I love these live streams. I don't know if it's for you, but they, I have fun doing these. I don't know if they're fun for everybody watching, but they're fun for me. I like talk, chatting with people and it's stuff that I was kind of doing anyway. I needed to do this. I've been wanting to um, figure out how to make um, craft foam armor. You had to do a get ready with me live stream, like a, Ooh, that might be fun. Like a show day. Well, a show day. Get ready with me. Would happen at three a.m. Who am I kidding? And who's up live streaming then? Who's watching the live stream? <laughs> That's fine. Live streaming at a show would be neat. Or live streaming a lesson. I don't know. They're just fun to do. Listen to me making plans for your channel. All right, here we go. This is looking good. This is looking good. I'm feeling good about it, everyone. I hear Liam coughing in the other room, and I hate that. I hope he's not up. He got sick this last weekend. Mm. I hate it. And I haven't gotten sick. Hopefully, I won't. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. I was hoping to get these painted, but that's not going to happen tonight. The painting is not going to happen tonight, everyone. Okay. I have those pieces sitting there waiting to dry. So what we're going to do now, here we go. Look, I've got these two pieces. They look like mustaches. <laughs> They are on a piece of cardboard with the Mod Podge. And now I am here rubbing the Mod Podge off my hands like Elmer's glue. Oh my gosh, it's so satisfying. Oh my gosh, this is wonderful. This is so good. I would do it at, th yeah, you'd have to stream at 3 a.m. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love the extra equestrian group. Thank you. I want, I thought it would be fun. I'm like, you know what? I'm not the only nerdy weirdo that loves unicorns. Um, but yeah, a get ready with me video would be great. All right. So where are my instructions? I'm supposed to put two coats of the Mod Podge on that. Let it dry for 15 minutes between coats. Apply a base layer of paint using the spray paint. You may need to apply a second coat. To enhance the shapes with a distressed appearance and give dimension, mix the acrylic paint with a little black acrylic and lightly paint the shapes using a foam brush. Score the details along the solid line. Oh, okay, I see what they're saying. Paint them with black acrylic paint using a detailing brush. So they want me to just spray paint paint it and then go over it with more paint. Do I have silver spray paint? I don't know if I have silver spray paint. Hang on, everyone. I know I have black and white. I may spray it with white and then put silver paint on top of it. That's what I might do. I have fabric paint that's silver. Hang on, pearl white, nope. Don't I have silver? Didn't we go through this last time I painted something and I was like, where is the paint? I have pearl white, I have silver, but it's glitter fabric paint. Why do I have copper and gold, but no silver? Is that real? Is that really happening? Y'all, I'm mad at myself. 
I was right there at Joanne Fabric. You know what though? Going back, you only get like one coupon at a time there. Here's my brown. Did it just appear back in here? I've been looking everywhere for this. This is exciting. Now I can do more work. See, I have been wanting that because on the copper unicorn horn, when I sprayed that awful glitter sealer, it made everything kind of dusty and then the cracks got weird. So I needed the brown paint. I don't want to just use black. So now I have the brown, yay! Why did it, where did it go? Why did I not? My brain is dumb sometimes. You know what, my friend Neil, one of our patrons here, he got on to me, he sent me a message because I was calling myself an idiot on a Facebook thread because I couldn't figure things out on my website and on the t-shirt design uh, for the for the new t-shirts and I kept calling myself an idiot and he got mad at me and sent me a message and like don't talk to yourself that way. And I don't know, I, I do that sometimes because sometimes I do feel dumb, especially with a lot of this online stuff. Hologram? No, no. Yeah, okay, that's it. I'm gonna have to go get some I get, for the next time I might have it already painted, since you don't need to see me spray painting the pieces, we don't need to do that during the live stream. I might paint some pieces that we'll see. So for um, the next live stream, what we will do, I may Mod Podge a little bit more before we're done. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place right now. <laughs> this dries fairly quickly, but I can still see some of it. I didn't get the gloss one. I got the satin finish. I wasn't sure if the gloss one would be what I wanted because they had, for the Mod Podges, they had different kind of finishes. A gloss obviously would be a really shiny one. I know they have a matte one as well. Oh yeah, oh, going to sleep, Marvel. Good night, thank you for joining tonight. I know I stayed on a little bit while, a little while longer. It's like, I usually only do an hour but I've been on for a while now. I wanted to at least get to the Mod Podge step. Man, that was tedious, cutting it all out, cutting the pattern pieces out and cutting out the cardboard and tracing everything. And now I am just peeling the Mod Podge off my fingers because reasons. All right, I think though I am going to um, stop for the night. I have my templates, I have my Mod Podge things drying. I'm gonna finish those up and I may post progress pictures on Instagram in another day or two um, if I get time to work on it again. So if you guys are interested in making a crown or making something like this too, I did put some links down below. Those are affiliate links um, for Amazon. So if you do click those, there's no extra charge to you, but anything purchased through those can possibly earn Unicorn and Centaur a commission. So if you want to make your own and you need some Mod Podge and you're ordering through Amazon, then you can go ahead and go do that and get it all ready for the next live stream where we can make some more together. Either the crown or some gauntlets or maybe some chest or shoulder armor, um, whatever. I would love to help you through making something like that for you or for your horse or for your dog or your cat or whatever. Whatever in your life needs some sort of faux metal piece. So. I think that's going to be about it. Thank you. If you're still watching, I know Lauren went to bed and I think Marvel went to bed. Um, Zadel, thanks for showing up. Allison, thanks for being here. Um, Ponies 101 stopped in briefly. Um, so if they're still here, we'll say, hey. And Emily, Emily, Ruby popped in here to say hello. I love you, Ruby, my girl. And Marvel, me and you owned this chat tonight, girl. Thank you for being here. I love you. I love seeing your drawings on Instagram. I love seeing you all around. Um, you're one of my favorite things, and I appreciate you being here. And Taylor, of course, um, with me here, too. Um, good night, Taylor. Thank you so much. Hey, good luck on finals. Really, get some sleep. Thank you for joining me. But study hard and get some sleep, and I hope you rock those finals. Um, I'm getting tired, so I'm about to close down the live stream. Um, say good night to my unicorn. And thank you for joining me tonight, you guys. Until next time.